This is a brief video on foramina at the base of the skull. Foramina are openings, usually in a bone or other hard structure, and we're going to be talking about some of the major foramina present at the base of the skull. First of all, here we have this image of the inferior view of the skull, and we're going to break it down into three major sections. We have the anterior cranial fossa. You can see that big outline of the anterior fossa up there. There's two halves of it, a left and a right half. Next is the midline cranial fossa. <clears throat> and lastly is the posterior cranial fossa. This is the large back end of the skull in which the cerebellum fits. Now within each of these fossa, these cranial fossa, we have thinner non-bolded arrows leading to all the foramina. And we're gonna be talking about the foramina uh, at the base of the skull and the major structures that go through them. So start at the top here, same image, the inferior uh, view of the base of the skull. And we're gonna be talking about all those foramina. At the very top, we see the cribriform plate. This is the most anterior foramina and the olfactory nerve or cranial nerve one goes through the cribriform plate. Going down from anterior to posterior, we next have the optic canal through which the optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery run. Next is the superior orbital fissure through which the ophthalmic veins as well as cranial nerves three, four, five, one, and six run. Now remember that the trigeminal nerve splits up into three portions. So only the first portion of the trigeminal nerve goes through the superior orbital fissure. Next is the foramen rotundum, which houses the trigeminal nerve and the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. That's the second portion of cranial nerve five. Next is foramen ovale, which houses the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. That's the third portion of cranial nerve five. So the three parts of cranial nerve five go through the superior orbital fissure, the foramen rotundum, and the foramen ovale. Next is the foramen spinosum, and the middle meningeal artery goes through the foramen spinosum. That larger one is the jugular foramen, and there's a few things that go through here. You have the glossopharyngeal nerve, the vagus nerve, and the accessory nerve. That's cranial nerves 9, 10, and 11. Uh, the occipital artery also goes through it, and the internal jugular vein goes through it. The hypoglossal canal has the hypoglossal nerve going through it. That's cranial nerve 12. And lastly, the large foramen magnum has the medulla oblongata going through it. That's that lower part of the brainstem. The meninges also traverse through the foramen magnum. The accessory nerve going to the traps, cranial nerve 11, also goes through the foramen magnum, as well as the anterior and posterior spinal nerves and the vertebral arteries. So that's that big opening at the bottom of the skull um, houses all of those things. This has been a brief video on foramina at the base of the skull. I hope this video as well as that picture were helpful and thank you for listening.